Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this tutorial and today I will be showing you how to create stunning product sections with functioning add to cart buttons. So this is an alternative to the WooCommerce default product pages so you will be able to display your products in the way you want to using Divi's built-in options and users will be able to add these products to their cart right away. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a quick look at the product section design that will show you how to recreate step by step. So this is what you can expect on desktop. It's a nice, beautiful, modern design and each one of the product sections includes a add to cart button, which functions for each one of the visitors. So if they click on this button, um, the product will automatically be added to the card without having to go to the product page first. So this is what it looks like on tablet. And this is what it looks like on phone. So once you add a new page or open an existing page with the visual builder, you can go ahead and open the settings of the first section that's already present over there. And you can move on to the design tab and start by adding some custom margin. And we we'll definitely need this custom margin for the box shadow that will apply and you will see the result. Um, after I add the box shadow. So I'm just going to select the first option and I'm not going to make any modifications and this is what we get as a result of that. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my first row. So we'll need three rows in total and the first one contains two columns and without adding any modules to it, I'm going to open the row settings. Then I'll open the background subcategory and I'm going to add a gray color to the second column. Then I'll move on to the design tab and apply the following settings to the sizing subcategory to remove the distance on the left and right side between the row and the section. Then I'll scroll down, open the spacing subcategory and I want to remove the top and bottom space as well by adding zero pixels to the top and bottom padding. And I'm also going to add some custom padding to both columns, so 50 pixels for the top and for the second column, I'm also going to add 50 pixels for the bottom on tablet and 20 pixels on phone. All right. So now I can start adding modules. So the first thing I'm going to do is add an image module to the first column. And for this, I'm going to use the product image in my media library. Then I'll move on to the design tab and open the spacing subcategory. And we're going to use a couple of rows. So we'll need to play around with the margin over here. So I'm going to add a top margin of 18% and a negative bottom margin which is minus 10% in this case, but you'll have to play around with this um, to match with the structure of your other columns. And I want to get rid of this margin on tablet and phone. All right, so next I can add a text module to the second column. This is my product title. So I'll go ahead and just type that down in the content box. Then I'll move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory. I'm going to use an ultra bold font weight, uppercase, and I'm going to use 36 pixels for this text module. Next, I'm going to apply a red font color. Scroll down, open the spacing subcategory. I want to create some distance between the beginning of that column and the top of my row. So I'm going to add 50 pixels to the top margin and 10 percent to the left padding. Now I can go ahead and add my description text module. So I'm just going to get some lorem ipsum text over here and paste it. Then I'll move on to the design tab and you can make all kinds of modifications over here, but I'll just open the sizing subcategory and put the width to 75%. Then open the spacing subcategory and again I want to create some distance between the top and the left. So I'll add 50 pixels to the top and 10% to the left. All right. So now we're going to create our last text module for this row. And this contains the specifications of that certain product. 
And this is actually an alternative to the desktop and tablet version, which we'll create in the second row that we'll add after we're done with this row. So go ahead and enter your specifications in the content box. Then scroll down and open the background subcategory and add the following color as your background color. All right, so then you can move on to the design tab and we're not going to make any modifications to the text settings over here but we'll open the spacing subcategory right away and we're going to create some space by adding 50 pixels to the top and bottom margin and 20 pixels to the top and bottom padding and 10% to the left padding. And last but not least, we're going to hide this text module on tablet and phone. All right, so now we can create the row containing the specifications for tablet and desktop. So I'm just going to add a row with four columns and before adding any modules to it, I'm going to open the row settings, open the background subcategory, scroll down until I come across column three background and give it the following color. And I'll use another gray color for the column four background. Then I'll open the sizing subcategory within the design tab. And again, we're going to make sure that there's no space on the left and the right side. And we'll also remove the top and bottom space by using zero pixels for the custom padding on the top and bottom. We'll also create some additional space by adding 20 pixels to the top and bottom padding of column number three and column number four. And now we'll have to disable this row on phone because we have the text module alternative. So go ahead and add the text module to column number three and add the specification titles to the content box, move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory, select ultra bold as your text font weight, use uppercase. And then you can move on to the spacing subcategory. And again, we want to create some space on the left side and at the top. So we're using 25 pixels for the top and bottom padding and 20% for the left. Then we'll add another text module, but now to column number four, where we'll uh, specify all of the specifications. We'll open the spacing subcategory right away and add the same custom padding as we did for the previous text module to this text module as well. All right, so now we can move on to the last row and for this we're going to need four columns as well. And before adding any modules, I'm going to open the row settings Go to the background subcategory and add the following red color as the background color of my column number three. And I'm going to use a gray color, a slightly darker gray color for column number four. Then I'll move on to the design tab and open the sizing subcategory. And again, I'm going to make sure that there's no space on the left and the right side using full width and custom gutter width of one. And I'm also going to equalize the column heights. So then I'll open the spacing subcategory. And again, I want to remove the top and bottom space between the row and the section and the previous row. And I'll also add 20 pixels to the top and bottom padding of column three and four to create some additional space. So now I'll add the button module to column three. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make the add to cart button work. Uh, so if people click on it, the product will automatically be added to the cart. And for that, you'll need to open the link subcategory of your button module and use the following URL. At the ending of this URL, you can see product ID. And this is actually the part where you have to go to your products using WooCommerce. And if you hover over your product, you'll see the ID appear. So just go to products, all products, and over here you can see the ID. So you simply have to select that number and copy it and replace the product ID within the URL with this ID. All right, so I'm also going to add some text to this button. I'm just simply going to choose for add to card. Then I'll move on to the design tab, open the alignment subcategory and use center button alignment. Then I'll open the button subcategory and I'm going to use custom styles for this button. The first thing I'm going to do is change the text color into white. And I'm going to get rid of the button border width. 
Then I'll scroll down and use ultra bold as my font weight. And I'm also going to enable uppercase. Then I'm going to search for the card icon within the button icon list. And I'm going to disable only show icon on hover for button. And I'm going to use left button icon placement. So the last thing I'll need to add is another text module and this time to column number four. So I'm just going to add the price in the content box. Then I'll move on to the design subcategory and use ultra bold as my text font weight. Use 45 pixels for my text size. Use a white color for my text module and use centered text orientation. And I'm also going to add some top margins. So I'll use 10 pixels for the top margin of this text module. All right, so now we have our product section and you can simply clone this section as many times as you need, depending on the number of products that you're showcasing. And there are a few things that you'll need to change. First of all, you'll need to change the image. So I'm just going to grab another image. So I'll just use a tablet. And then I'll move on to the design tab. And for each and every product, you will need to modify the spacing of the image because it really depends on the sizes of your images. And for this product image, I'm going to change the negative bottom margin into minus 30%. And I'm just doing this because I want my image to be a little bit centered between all of the rows that I've added to this section. And I'm also going to change the link to my add to cart button according to the new product. So you'll just have to change the product ID. So now that we've gone through all of these steps, let's take a final look at the results on different screen sizes. So you can create as many of these product sections as you want, depending on the number of products that you have. And this is what it looks like on desktop. Then we have this following stunning result on tablet. And last but not least, this is what it looks like on phone. Well, that was all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to all our social media channels so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.